Hey, this is interesting. Golf may cause Parkinson's disease? What? How? By getting hit in the head by a straight golf ball? No, although as I covered in another video, concussions from football might. The Golf Parkinson's Disease Association came from a recent Mayo Clinic study, found that living within a couple miles of a golf course had nearly twice the risk for Parkinson's disease as living three miles away or more. The authors attributed to an increased exposure of pesticides in the water and also maybe the air. But golf is exercise and exercise reduces the risk for Parkinson's, which would offset the risk from the pesticides, right? While some studies show an association between exercise or being physically active and a low risk for Parkinson's, there's no definitive proof of a cause-effect relationship. But golf does meet the requirements for being moderate exercise. Golfing can burn between 500 to more than 2,000 calories per round, reduce the risk for mortality, and lower risk factors for cardiovascular disease and diabetes. Besides these benefits, golfing also has some risks, like lower back injuries, a greater risk for skin cancer compared to non-golfers, and to a lesser extent, head injuries from clubs and kids and balls and adults, and a greater risk to get hit by lightning. So can you add to these risks that just living near a golf course increases your risk for Parkinson's disease? Well, Parkinson's disease is caused by a genetic predisposition and a variety of environmental factors, very much like autism. While the study didn't establish a direct link between the pesticides from golf courses and developing Parkinson's disease, yes, living within three miles of a golf course could be one of those environmental risks. But I'd place it down on the list near getting struck by lightning, but well below licking golf balls and putters. Ugh. And as always, my answers come from peer-reviewed research.